in the last session we had discussed the statement of pumping lemma in this session we will discuss how we can select u v x y and z we will prove that a n b n c n is not a context free language using pumping lemma let's start the session first we will review the pumping lemma statement let G be any CFG in CNF with P live production. Live production means production are of the form A will give you BC that is in the right hand side only two non terminal will appear and W is any string generated by grammar G and length of W is greater than 2 raised to power P. Then we can able to divide W into 5 parts W equal to U, V, X, Y and Z such that length of v and y is greater than 0 it means v and y both cannot be null at the same time length of v x y is less than 2 raised to power p and length of x is greater than 0 then we can able to pump v and y it means u v power i x y power i z will belongs to the language now we will discuss how we can able to select u, v, x, y and z from a given w. Consider the CNF for odd palindrome. S will give you x u1, y u2, a or b, x is a, y is b, u1 is sx, u2 is sy, and let us consider W equal to A A B A A. It is a old palindrome string. Suppose we will generate tree for it. So S can give you X U1. U1 can give you SX. S can be replaced by X U1. U1 can again give you SX. X can give you A A A A. S can be replaced by B. So we can able to generate this string W. Now if you will carefully observe, S is appearing as its descendant on a branch. Similarly, U1 is appearing as its descendant on its branch. So we have the following options. We can select U1 to draw the first triangle or we can select any one of the S to draw the first triangle. To find out the value of u, v, x, y and z, let's assume we will select first and third depending upon our value of u, v, x, y and z will change. Now if we will consider first and third x, so corresponding to the first s we will draw the first triangle and corresponding to the third s we will draw the second triangle. This will be your u, so u is null. This is your v, so v is a a. So x is b, this is our y, so y is a a and this is our z that is null. So if we will select first and third s, we will get u as null, v as a a, x as b, y as a a, z is null. Now we will discuss various values of u, v, x, y and z if we will select first s and second s. Consider the derivation tree again. x, u1, a, a, s, x, a, b. Now if we will select first and second s, so what we will get? This is our first s. So we will draw first triangle and this is a suppose our second s. So we will draw the second triangle. This is our u. So u is null. v is a. x is a b a. y is a. And z is null. Similarly, if we will choose u1 to draw the first triangle and the second u1 to draw the second triangle. Now consider the derivation tree again. Let's suppose we will select the non-terminal u1 to draw the triangle. So first triangle we will draw where u1 is appearing first and second triangle we will choose where u1 is appearing as its descendant. So this is u that is a, v is a, x is 
B A, Y is A and Z is null. Like for S, we have choices like we can select first or third, first or second or second or third. For U1, we have only one choice. So corresponding to these non-terminal, we will get different value of U, V, X, Y and Z. And correspondingly, we can pump V and Y and this thing U, V power I, X, Y power I, Z will belongs to the language. Now we want to prove that L is A N B N C N is not a context free language. So in step one, we will assume let L be a context free language and we can able to convert CFG into CNF with P live production. In the second step, we will consider W as A M B M C M and we will divide W into five parts U, V, X, Y and Z such that length of X is greater than zero, length of V plus length of Y is greater than zero and length of V, X, Y is less than two raised to power P. In step number three, we will prove that L is not a context free language by contradiction so we will assume the possible values of v and y following cases can occur case one v and y contains a single type of letter v can have a raised to power k y can have b raised to power k or v can have b raised to power k y can have c raised to power k or we can have a raised to power k and y can have c raised to power k. We will prove that these are not the possible values of v and y. So if we have w that is u, v, x, y and z, a, m, b, m, c, m and let's assume the case v is a raised to power k, y is b raised to power k. So we can divide it into u v x y z like a raised to power k that is v a raised to power m minus k that is u now b k is y so x is b raised to power m minus k that is x and let's assume this is our z now whenever we will pump v and y twice so u v square x y square z we will get a m minus k a k a k b m minus k b k b k and c m so what it means it will be equal to a m plus k b m plus k and c m that will not belongs to l because length of v plus length of y will be greater than zero so number of a followed by number of b followed by number of c cannot be same so it doesn't belongs to the language so we cannot have these possible values of v and y now in second case we will consider whether there is a possibility that v and y contains more than one type of letter we can consider the case v is containing two types of letter and y is containing two types of letter so w is u v x y and z that is a m b m c m so we can divide this w into five parts by considering a k b l as v so u will become a m minus k then y is b s c t so x will become b raised to power m minus l minus s and c raised to power m minus t is our z so whenever we will take u v square x y square z it will become a m minus k a k b l a k b l b m minus l minus s b s c t b s c t c m minus t and if we carefully observe after b a is appearing and after c b is appearing 
And if we carefully observe the language A N B N C N, we have a number of A, then a number of B, then a number of C appear in the language L. So U V square X Y square Z does not belongs to the language. It means V and Y cannot contain more than one type of letters. Now we can say that our initial assumption that L is a context-free language is wrong and L is not a context-free language. In the next session, we will apply pumping lemma to prove that certain languages are non-context-free language. Thanks for watching this session.